Hello boys and girls, welcome along. So, I'm gonna build this one. Fine example of British aviation history. Did an unboxing on it a couple of weeks ago, so um, feel free to have a look at that if you wanna have a slightly better look at the parts, but we'll get to see them as we go through it. I did toy with the idea of doing this as a bit of a kind of comedy thing. So maybe do it in camouflage and put some decals, like some roundels on it or something. But I thought, no, that'd be disrespectful to the, the fine engineering of, of Wallace. So uh, I shall do it how he intended it. that for now cool so um the first thing i think is give it a wash so i'm not sure at what point in history some people say the modern ones you don't need to wash because they don't have the chemical on them that makes the paint not stick but i don't know quite when that was so no harm in giving it a bit of a washing soapy water. So I should be back in a moment. So the gloves are on, cause it's gonna have quite a high gloss finish to it. So I don't wanna mess it up with finger marks. So it's all washed soapy water. So I'll just give it a little while to dry off and get some primer on it. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be red. So, is it yellow you put under red? Oh, I can't remember. But I've got white, black, and gray primer. So, I'm gonna use white, because, yeah, why not? Um, yeah okay I think I'll just do the whole lot yeah just get it primed okay back in a bit so just before I start priming just have a look at the instructions and there's a few bits need cutting out just a little bit at the back of the I think that's the back of the bottom half of the fuselage and two bits at the side which I assume is where the wings go in. Uh, yeah, it looks like. Yeah. And the tail. Okay. So I'll cut them out first and then I'll get it primed. So section one, I've cut, cut these bits out. Section one and two. This little bit here. Um, and then there's these two bits to fit in there. So I'm thinking that'll probably be easier to do now before I, I paint the inside. Uh, so then it's paint the seat, fit that, and then the two R's together. So yeah, if I can prime it, get to this stage tonight, that'd be good. Because then obviously the pilot figure is gonna take a little bit more work. Okay, so I shall get on with priming. So I'll glue that in and get the, get the fuselage primed. So I'm just going to do the propeller, which is sort of silver or chrome looking, depending on which pictures you look at. Um, I got these the other day, and the first time I tried them out. It's the Molotov or Molotov chrome pens. Um, yeah, no idea what they're like, but I thought I'd give it a go, because there's the propeller. And there's also a stripe runs down the side of the, the fuselage. And I thought these might come in handy. I've got a, an American fire engine kit I want to do quite soon. There's loads of chrome on it. Uh, and bits of it will kind of need touching up when you sort of obviously take them off the sprue and things. You have to fill in the gaps. So I thought, oh, if these work, well, uh, It'd be worth a try. So apparently you just sort of stab it down a bit to get it working. 
They're meant to be refillable. Yes, it takes a few pumps to get it going, but it's starting to sort of soak down. That's like a sort of hard felt by the look of it. Here we go, just starting to come out now. Okay, so let's have a look, see what it's like. That's pretty good, that. Like a mirror. Wow. So this little set of bolt is um, one mil, two mil and four mil. This is the four. So obviously I thought it'd cover it quicker. But I'm gonna need the smaller one to get in the gaps there. I suppose you probably, if you had a little pallet, you could pump a load in and use a small brush with it. I guess that would work. That's brilliant. Pretty impressed with that. So I'm hoping it's got some self leveling ability because it's got like sort of a bit of brush mark in that, but apparently they take quite a long time to dry. So hopefully that will settle down. It's not the end of the world if not. So given the, the wings and the fuselage, the tail, quick coat, looks a bit orange in the camera, doesn't it? It's definitely red. Uh, and there's the pilot figure and the seat. So yeah, just at the painting stage, and then uh, get on with putting it all together. So while I've been um, varnishing the, the red bits, I thought I'd get the pilot finished. So something went wrong with the paint on it, on his body, and it just went all sticky. Wow. Even after sort of 24 hours, it was not quite dry, but the rest of it's all right. So, uh, yeah, that's Gromit or Eric Gromit Brown, as he was a sort of test pilot. I think that's what I've got. Anyway, enough of my nonsense. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm such a child. Okay, I'm calling this one done. It was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed this little thing. Just something unusual. Uh, Little tip, if you ever make one of these, is in the instructions it says to put the fuselage halves together first and then the tail section goes in and the wings. But when it came to putting the wings in, it just didn't want to line up quite. It, it, it was as if the slot needed to be a bit bigger for the wing to go in. So I ended up cracking the body, the fuselage, back open again and then assemble it all in one go, put the glue on and then take the body on and then it seemed to sit okay after that. So just a little thing, it just didn't quite line up quite right, but it was all right. Um, yeah, lots of fun. Nice making the cannon. That was a funny little thing to make. That goes up and down. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can pose Gromit a little bit his arms move around so you can have him how you like him um paint yeah trying to get a gloss finish with vallejo acrylics took a little while what i found was um i put on some 
uh, the Vallejo gloss varnish, which isn't terribly shiny on its own. But then once it was dry, I just sort of polished it with some kitchen towel and it kind of came up okay. It's, I mean, it's not massively, massively shiny, but it's all right. Um, there's a couple of little, little patches that I think I must have messed up. It's just sort of like a little, little bit near the back there where I got it a little bit wrong, but yeah, who cares? It was a bit of fun, fun little kit. And it's the sort of thing, you know, fathers and sons would make that kind of thing, you know. It's, but it's a surprisingly nice, well-made little kit. I'm really, really pleased with it. And uh, yeah, <laughs> may, may Airfix bring out more silly things like this rather than the sensible military stuff. So yeah, a lot of fun. I really recommend it and I'll keep an eye out for any other similar things like this so uh, yeah stay tuned thanks for watching and see you next time bye